Please raise your hand for questions. Coach? Yeah, I mean, I just first of all, the first thing I want to say is how awesome it was just to play in Nibbert. I mean, it was uh, everything that that I anticipated it being. And then some um, shout out to our students' body that came out here you know, over an hour early and then posted up in that end zone over there all wearing white. It was awesome. And, you know, we ran out and you get to look up and see, you know, we still got people filing in. And um, with, you know, after we started the game, which was awesome. And we filled the stadium up and, you know, we fed off of that energy uh, right from the start. You know, we, I think our first drive, we, we, we went down, I think it was fourth and five and we went for it and hit a big touchdown. And, from that point forward, we really didn't slow down. And, um, you know, I, I thought our, I thought Emory played very well, obviously, and I thought he did a good job in his decision-making. Um, we felt we had some good receivers, and they, they proved that to be true today. Um, guys made some great plays, and uh, O-line did really good in the first half there. And uh, and the defense was very solid. Um, you know, I think their offense is a very good offense. I think their quarterback has proven that he's a good quarterback. And, uh, you know, so we knew um, that he was going to be able to make some plays on us. And, you know, he had some, he had some throws. And we really didn't get to him in the first half. And, I, you know, I was talking to the defense coordinator about, you know, B. Brown about this, try to get some pressure. I think we ended up, I don't know, three or four sacks there in the second half. And, and we did a good job of creating turnovers. I thought that was big, too. Um, you know, disappointed in the one. I think we got a sack and sack fumble. And we did on, on the, our tackle got beat around. And disappointed in that. We got to get that fixed. And, uh, um, you know, I think the teams did well, awesome too. You know, think about our special teams. I mean, we're knocking down field goals. Um, you know, we didn't really need Fletch today, but when he got in there, he boomed the last one, and um, which was awesome to see. And uh, and I thought our coverage teams were really good. So that, that was good to see. All those things were really good to see in a first game because you don't really know what you're going to get in the first game. I did think our kids prepared very well this week. They were uh, very focused, intent, um, coming out and playing a great game, and they did that. That was, that was, that was awesome to see. Maybe anticipate the offense. 10 new starters maybe taking a little bit to gel, a little time mm -hmm. to get going. Was it obviously a pleasant surprise to see that not happen? Yeah, you just don't ever know. I mean, we, you know, um, I don't even think Gerhardt started today. I don't think he may have. Did he start? Yeah. He did. Okay, good. At least they had one returning starter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we had one returning starter. And, uh, you know, I, I think we really did, um, you know, a good job of finding – players that are team guys in the portal and that that's hard to do um you know that receiver group we have they're talented but they're also very unselfish and um and they play like it today you know i, I don't know what six different receivers scored a touchdown you know caught a touchdown today i mean that's that's great distribution um and you know you, you just don't ever know how it's going to work out in the game and uh, you know and i think um you know, we, we knew early going in, we want to take some shots down the field and we hit them, you know. And uh, and then I think once that started rolling, it started opening up some of the run game. And, uh, you know, Corey broke off that big run that we had there and uh, we were able to get a few more runs in there. So I think it's going to go hand in hand. We have to be able to do both. We want to be able to run the football, um, but we have some good weapons outside that need to get their touches. Was today a testament to guys like Jack and Zach and Cass, talent acquisition team? I yeah, guess I mean, I think I think it was collective effort. Yeah, the, the whole uh, recruiting department um, and all our coaches. I mean, we worked really hard at it. Um, I, I think obviously in the portal and, you know, you're, you're kind of, you're, you know, under the gun a little bit. I get hired in December and all of a sudden we got to try to get some guys here in January. Then And then you go through that semester and you're like, all right, what can we get this in May, you know, and so um, under the gun really more in January and then you got a little bit more time and those guys did a great job of identifying and, and then trying to bring guys in to, to help us this uh, this summer and then I think we really jailed uh, you know you, you talk about you don't know how it's going to be but we jailed this summer a lot I think Emory his relationship with X you know from Florida I think really helped you know and that that was a good connection today those two guys um, you know I think Prater did awesome you know I mean I think he's got a bright future out there I mean he's a big guy that can run and catch we saw that again today so um, you know, I think I think when I think about when I first got here, it was a, one of maybe our weakest position group, and now it's one of our stronger position groups. I mean, and so I think that's how quickly you can flip that. Um, you know, when going to the portal. What you see on that fourth and five to Xavier, and did did the game get easier? Or did you get? Yeah, I mean, I just think well, that was a play that the vertical route that we wanted to run, and I just I mean, it's fourth and five. We tempoed and ran it. I just wanted to try to hit them fast and and, and let Emory read it out, and uh, did a great job of seeing X, you know, behind the guy and just. Beautiful throw, and uh, and then he did, he did the rest. But uh, you know, I was just think it's fourth and five. It's around midfield. I, I want to be aggressive, and um, you know, and it paid off. You went Kiner, Montgomery, Montgomery in the rotations for running back, and then it was just kind of Kiner. Is was that kind of a tryout to start the game, or is that kind of the expectation going forward? No, I mean, I think I think it's going to take all those running backs. Um, you know, I think shoot, I don't even know how we play today. Four 
four or five guys back there, but I mean, it's going to take all of them. You know, there's there's guys that, are, that can catch the ball better. There's guys that protect better. There's guys that can run a little bit better. And uh, so I think as we, we're still working that out. You know, as we head through the season, we'll find out which guys I think that can help us the most in that run, uh, in that room, and then allow them to play a little bit more, you know. But I, it wouldn't have surprised me if, you know, one of them played more than the other one. I, you just pick a name out of a hat, you know, but whoever's going to be making the plays are going to be playing in that room. And I think that's uh, where we're at. I mean, I'm pulling for all of them, but we're gonna we're gonna end up playing the, the guys who are making the most plays. Henry started the game uh, seven for seven for 143 yards. How important was it for his confidence and the rest of the team to get off to that type of start? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's you know great for your confidence if you're you know you're throwing dimes out there and we're catching them. I mean, that, that's gonna make you feel good. And and I think as the game went on, we just kept you know feeling feeling it really. I mean, quite honestly, and, and you know as a play caller, you're like, man, these guys are, are seeing it really good. So let's continue to try to hit some of these plays and. Uh, and they were making them, you know, and, and I think if they're doing that, we're going to keep feeding them, you know, and I think we're going to try to take what the defense gives us. And, and tonight or this afternoon, the defense was giving us some of those balls down the field. And, um, you know, and what I love about it is like, you know, Emory's not just dialed in on one guy. I mean, X had maybe had the better game as far as yards go, but he's not really dialed in. He's, he's dialed in on who, you know, who's open. You know, he, he hit Braden, you know, on the right side. Nobody's covering him. And he, go, he goes and scores, you know, and so, so I think I, I love the distribution of, of, of whatever they're going to give us. We're going to try to take, and I think for the most part, you know, Emory played very well. I mean, there was a, you know, I, I would say I don't know, I think four plays where I think okay, he could have done better on those four plays, and um, you know, as far as decision making goes, and you know, he's very efficient, 19 for 23, and um, and I think um, you know he played about as good as you can play, really. Keith and then Marshall. Threats had that big interception. What makes him a special defender on that back mm -hmm. end? Yeah, I mean, Threats is, you know, he's our energy guy back there. You know, he, he's always talking and flying around and, and making plays. And, uh, you know, he does a good job in coming down and stopping the run. And, you know, and that was a big-time play there to, to get the interception there, you know, when we needed one. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's, he's a little bit, he's doing a little bit of everything. You know, I, you know, sometimes you get some safeties that maybe are just really good in the pass game, not in the run. But I, mean, I think he's a very solid overall player where he can come down and fit the run really well. well. But he also is a threat to get an interception in the passing game, and, and uh, you know he's you know he's obviously had a really good game today, and uh, you know I think he's I think he's one of our solid better solid players in the back end. Coach, coming off a huge win, I know you haven't had time to look at any of the tape yet, but how does a 66 to 13 win? How does that prepare you for when you go against Power Five teams that are going to have more talent? Yeah, I mean I, I think. Um, I think we go out there to play the game, you know, and, and I know I wasn't necessarily trying to score that many points, you know, really. I mean, we're, we're trying to execute and make plays. I mean, you know, we're, we, we throw a bubble out to Barry. I mean, we're just, and, and he, get, he, I don't even know what he went. I mean, what was that, 60 some yards or something? I mean, 65 yards, I, you know, I, he, he made the play, you know, and so we can't apologize for getting a lot of yards and a lot of points. I mean, I, you know, whoever we play, we got to try to play the best we can possibly play. We realized next week we got pit. You know, Pitts has a lot of, you know, has a better defense. We, we, we recognize that. We played them last year. They have a tremendous defense, actually. And um, it'll be a lot more of a challenge, you know. But I think when you, whoever you play, whoever they put down in front of us, we got to go out and try to play our very best. And, you know, I, I, don't, I can't apologize for, play, you know, putting up points and yards. But, um, you know, we want, we want to try to execute. And when you execute, good things happen. It'll be hard to execute next week, you know. And so we're going to have to be even, you know, more sharp. And we're going to have a great week of practice. But, Tonight, we're going to celebrate this win, and then tomorrow we'll worry about Pitt. A couple more, Russ, and then Neil. Marshall, if you've got a follow-up. Yeah, just a quick follow-up. Uh, so then, how does – does it make it more difficult then to judge the tape when you're going against a team that doesn't have the same skill level? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't look at it that way. Um, you know, over the years, I've opened up with, with all kind of teams for over the 25 years I've been coaching. And um, I've opened up teams where we really, you know, played well and we won big. You know, and then the next week we didn't play as well, and the next week we played great, and then I've done the other. You know, we, we've had some hard teams we opened up with, and then the next week we've done bad and we've done good. I don't think there's any correlation. I think I think really it's about the preparation of that particular week. You know, because it's a one uh, week season for us, and it, it's one week. You know, right? so now next week it's all pit. We're not worried about what we did last week. It's pit. And um, but tonight we're celebrating EKU. Do you live under a rock? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Russ. <laughs> Daniel Greshik has the team high, seven tackles, two for loss, a sack, a force fumble as well. Is this kind of the role and the impact you, you as a coaching staff and he as a player envision when he 
made the choice to come here and, and play alongside of such a talented interior front. Yeah, team. no, no question. And um, man, I love DG. I mean, he is a great kid, and um, his, his journey. We talked about this last night as a team. I mean, I could just pick any guy and, and talk about their journey. These these people don't realize the things that these guys have gone through. And DG is just one example. You know, a former walk on when he first went to college, and then. You know, now, you know, he never would have dreamed he'd be in Cincinnati, you know, making plays, you know, five years later in his career. And, um, you know, a kid from L.A., you know, I mean, it's incredible. And um, his journey. And, and, I, and I think um, and for him to come out here and have a game like that, I mean, he's been doing that since he got here this spring. Um, you know, but he's a great person. And then and for him to go out and make plays, I mean, I, I pull for guys like that. And, uh, you know, so you get a good push with him. Those D linemen we have up front, he's going to get some opportunity to make some plays. And he made the most of the day. Neil, final question. Sammy Anderson was a guy who really had a tremendous camp. Mm. Obviously, he got dinged up a little bit earlier. Mm. Did you just have any update on him? Yeah. Um, you know, I think he had a, you know, a head contusion or something, upper, upper body. And, um, you know, was not able to get back into the game. We talked to him. I mean, I talked to him at halftime. You know, he's, he seemed fine. He's smiling. He's uh, he's feeling good. Um, I, but I think anytime you have an injury like that, and you got to be more precautious than anything. Um, we'll have more of an update. I think maybe a um, first part of the week. Um, but I would anticipate him him being fine. Final second question. <laughs> so Scott, uh, I know you weren't here last year, but Ivan Pace was here today. Had a big ovation from the crowd. Oh, that's there. great. So, just how big was that to see him here? And oh, that's awesome. Be around, be around the team. Mm, mm. I didn't see him. I wish I'd have saw him. But uh, man, that guy's awesome. You know, I wish he was on our team. I know, but he's he's starting for the whoever was the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, he's starting for the Vikings. So so good for him. Um, you know, it, it's uh, yeah. I just got to be around him a little bit when we got here. You know, back in December, and um, I'm so happy for him. And and you know, a guy I went down to Senior Bowl and watched him practice, and it was awesome. And he did a great, and nobody took him. You know, but he's got the last lap because he's starting. And, you know, so uh, so good for him. And um, I love underdogs. I love guys like that. And uh, they have a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, I, that's how I envision our program. Like, if, if anybody's counting us out, man, we're just going to keep battling. You know, and I, just like he did, and, you know, to get that starting job. So uh, that's awesome that he came back. I, I love it. Like, this summer and spring when our former players, the NFL guys, they come back and hang out. I absolutely love that. Be with our guys, you know. You know, those guys that, that help get this program to where it's at right now, man, they're always welcome. I love it when they come back. We open, you know, open arms when those guys come back. So rooting for him. Cool. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Congrats.